Welcome back guys to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed the last two videos that I've made about colognes. You know, obviously I have more than that. I just, you know, it's a hassle trying to take them out and show them individually and put them back. You know, it's, it's, it takes time, you know, but I hope those two videos were enough and I will continue to do more videos of other um, types. Well, I'm going to continue to do other types of videos. Um, pretty much, pretty much um, today is uh, April 17th, 2024. I'm going to leave to Mexico on May the 4th. So, you know, two weeks and a half. Um, well, tomorrow's Thursday, so. Um, wish me luck, wish me luck, wish me luck, wish me luck, wish me luck. I'm pretty much going, the sole purpose of going to Mexico is just to see the girlfriend, see how she's doing. And, you know, obviously I'm not. I still have to ask permission at work if I can go, um, but I don't know what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Um, I mean, the book, the flight is already booked, so I mean, either they let they lead, they let me or not. I have to go. So um, I just want to know, like, if I if I can come back, knowing I have a job or I don't have a job. So. They don't want 
men like me to see what's really going on behind the scenes because they keep grooming these fucking young kids bro like i've seen like they would much rather hire a fucking 16 17 even 18 year old girl that has no experience over someone that has a pretty decent experience in customer service or like a, you know a, like a sales associate stuff like that over like they, they they will much rather hire someone without experience over me like someone that has that type of decency of experience it's just red flags and i know this because it's not the first time i've applied like throughout the time like like maybe in the last six years i applied three times for movie theater jobs and they all say no and it's just weird man like why why dude why i mean and it even and i wasn't even applying for um the last time i applied it wasn't for full time it was for a part time and i was just you know maybe i can get in maybe i can get some 18 to 25 hours per week you know i'll work you know the night shifts wherever they need me and, and they were paying 16 an hour bro you can't do shit in today's economy with 16 an hour i was just looking for an extra you know 150 a week you know so i can like put that in my savings and just you know make sure i save up some money so one day i can like it can help me you know but even then they said no so you know like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie i was upset like what like i don't even know man i don't i don't get it i don't get it i know this cute girl that i used to talk to her name is kayla she's uh when i was talking to her she just turned 19 years old and she was she she was telling me that she was working at a movie theater i'm like which movie theater and it was amc and i'm like wow that's crazy dude that's crazy and then um i think she had like a thing for me before but you know it was weird and then i remember at the time i was dating this puerto rican chick and i went to the movie theater with her and then i saw her i'm like oh shit I remember her. Like that's the girl we were, I was talking to in the throughout the summer. But I, I stopped talking to her. So and then she just just kept staring at me. I'm like, damn, she's she's bigger than than what I thought. She looks smaller in the pictures. She made herself look smaller in the pictures, like skinny. But in person, she's like pretty big. But um, that's besides the point. Like they hired her. And I'm like, the fuck are they hiring just young kids, bro? Like 19, 18, 17. Like, I get it. I'm older, but I'm not that old, dude. I'm not like 60. Like, what the fuck? Man. And then I also applied for Dick Sporting Goods. I still haven't got a call or an email, but pretty sure soon enough I'm going to have an email. Jordy, you suck. You're not hired. You ugly. And, well, you know what I mean? And then I applied, I think. Where other job did I apply? What a job, what a job. Oh yeah, I applied for um, Costco And nope, I haven't got a call from them either I haven't got a call from them either From, from them either They can kiss my ass My my old wrinkly ass But, you know, like It, it just sucks, man Because at times I want to get a part time You know, like, it, I mean Work the 40 hours on my first job The, the current job, the main job And then possibly maybe another 18 22 on the side you know i could probably do like maybe three sixes yeah three sixes um saturday and sunday probably work six hours it's just i don't know it depends or maybe i can work four days four hours four times four 16 you know 16 hours is good i mean it's less than 20 it's 20 is part time but that's fine 16 i can do something with 16 but no they don't like my ass i just have bad luck in jobs other than what i'm used to getting or my resume just doesn't add up i mean i used to work for a dollar tree no not dollar tree um family dollar back in 20 2010 um I was 16. It was like a little part time, you know. But um, I don't think they're gonna take that for consideration. They're like, nah, it's not good enough, buddy. You gotta go. 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 But you know, I don't know, guys. 
sometimes life is hard, you know. Believe it or not, when I was in when when COVID was happening back in 2020, when it was starting to happen to get it worse, 2021, like at the job I was at, I never like lost hours. I never like started working, you know, less than 12 hours daily. I was always working 12s five days a week, and all the money was there, you know. I I never like not had the money that I need for my bills and everything else I needed to pay and you know as time progressed I don't know I just started getting bad like this the new jackass that took over that job that's why I quit he just decided to like cut everybody's hours but like everyone's gonna work eight hours you guys deserve to be with your families you know and spend the time I'm like motherfucker I don't have a family I am single I don't have kids I need money, you know, but nope, you know, and then that's what made me uh, consider uh, quitting, and obviously I did, and ever since that day, I got another job that was pretty decent, pretty decent, pretty decent, pretty decent, but, uh, you know, they know that inflation is bad, man, and if anything, we need the overtime, bro, that's the most that we needed, you know, like, Back then, when inflation wasn't as bad, it was, like, well, there is no inflation, it was okay, you know? Like, gas was, like, one ninety eight or even $2.25. We didn't need the overtime. We didn't need it. It was fun to have it, and we used it. We took all the hours. We took all the OT, but we didn't need it. Now that we need it the most because of this bullshit inflation, we don't have it. And um, all these other jobs that are trying to get, like, a... I'm trying to get a job they really don't want to pay for overtime you know they're like they're barely even offer and if they do offer you overtime you sh you'll stay like one hour over just that's it one hour and it sucks you know guys because well, i don't know how, i don't know what you guys do or what you guys uh prefer or if you guys are salary and stuff like that but our commission but you know, I just work by the hour, you know, and I just want to make sure I have the overtime that I need. It's not even like, you know, 12 hours. As long as I can have 10 over, like 10 OT hours. Like, let's say I work the 40 hours plus 10 OT. It's pretty decent um, paycheck. And I can, you know, live fairly comfortably for the time being. But without that, you know, it's kind of, it gets difficult. You know, that's why sometimes I prefer to have a second job. Uh, a part-time second job just to help me you know go by this shitty life and you know hopefully one day like I'm, I'm still trying my best to like make sure my channel grows my channel grows my channel grows maybe I have like you know I don't know like at least 20,000 subscribers you know so I can get paid like I don't know like maybe like 300 bucks 340 bucks a week a week 345 bucks a month you know and just keep doing videos keep doing videos keep doing videos and uh just put that money in my savings account and just grow and grow and grow and i feel like i could do something with that money you know one day um but and then also like i, I, I can get like i wish i could find you know a, a, a good woman that will love me for me and would like to start a family together and we can work as a team you know she works I work and she can help me get some stuff together you know that would be nice and I don't have to struggle as hard but you know that's astronomical so it's not as easy as it sounds you know but it, it is difficult at least for me you know not everybody has capability of going out there and seeing somebody oh she's awesome meet them get them pregnant married oh they're a happy couple for 25 30 years that's not you know that's not as easy for me sadly but um yep 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 yep, yep, yep. i'm gonna be i'm gonna go to mexico may 4th and i'm gonna be there for two weeks so i'll probably be back in and in the last, before the last week of May, um, or maybe, no, no, I'm gonna come back in the third week of May, so, you know, I'll be
be back soon. I'll be back soon. I'll be back soon. I'll be back soon. I'll be back soon. And the and um, you guys, you know, if it wasn't for you guys, you know, commenting our videos, talking to me, just being there for me, I wouldn't really care to do anything with this channel. I started this channel. Well, these types of videos back in August of 2022, and I never even imagined I would even have anything, anyone tuning in to like any of my videos because I don't know. I just never thought I was like, you know, like good enough like the other people. You know, the other people are fantastic, they're great, and um, you know, I just started like. You know, the hell with it, you know, I'm, a lot of people are doing Kelowna, is Mars, let me just do this one. And it clicked, you know, it, 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 it popped. That's one of my top videos I have to this day. And I and I appreciate everyone, all the comments that, that made them feel like they get sleepy when they hear my voice or they hear that video, which is, uh, makes me happy. And sorry about the, um, the other Cologne videos that are not as good you know like obviously when you make a hit it's not as easy to make another one as good as the original so you know obviously 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 but i thank everybody you know everyone that tunes in watches my videos actually cares how i'm doing because i care about all of you that actually tune in you know i hope you guys are doing well in your lives you guys deserve the world the world deserve every good thing of life i feel like and those of you that talk shit you can go under a rock with patrick yeah there you go 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 there you go, there you go. <laughs> it smells like electronic but yeah guys, yeah guys, yeah guys, yeah guys. I just wanted to do a second video, a second quick video. Because I really have to, I'm sleepy as fuck, man. I don't have anything to think about, to talk about. Maybe if I was a little high, maybe, 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 maybe. But, um, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, I mean, none of you guys really comment if you guys have any, like, I mean, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think you guys oh yeah one of you guys commented like update of, of my firearms you know I would do that but YouTube send uh, censor those videos and I can't monetize those videos it's limited so I, I, I won't be able to make as much you know profit so um, and besides it's gonna be the same I, don't, I haven't really purchased any you know firearms besides one shotgun but uh, even then, you know, YouTube are gonna not like that and they're gonna demonetize, yada yada, all that stuff. Bah, 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 bah. But um, tomorrow I start work at 8 a.m. I'm gonna get a coffee in the morning, make sure I'm 100%. Because I have really a bad muscle strain right here, guys. Fucking hurts, bro. Don't you guys hate it when you wake up or whatever, and then you you turn right, you turn left, and it hurts. God damn, it hurts. Well, when I woke up today, it wasn't hurting. It just like I was doing weights, like uh, I think it's thirty pounds. I was just doing weights, like lifting them and shit, and then I think I fucked up here. This is the second time. I think I'm not. I, I think I'm no good for weightlifting anymore. Because of the weight I was doing, uh, dumb, what are these called? I forgot what they're called, but I was doing that. Bro, the next day, this, this was aching me, like, so bad. I could not even move, bro. I was like this. I was like, no neck, Ed from 90 Day Fiance. I had to move my body to look that way. Fuck. It was horrible. Horrible, 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 horrifying, and horrible, horrible, horrible. Put them together, put them together, put them together, put them together. But yeah, guys, thank you. Oh, um, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure me and my girlfriend are gonna make one of these ASMR videos. 
in Mexico at my mom and my dad's place because it's his house obviously not mine and we're gonna maybe we're gonna do a Spanglish one Spanish and English probably tell her talk to you guys in English and talk to her in Spanish or and or we're gonna make a Spanish one for all my Latino fans the subscribers that listen to my videos in Spanish in Spanish in Spanish in Spanish so tune in for that one guys and I'll see you on the next video good night